but I have a really awesome one. Something that sold for over $100 and sold in one day of me listing it. So stay tuned for that one. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter and I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. I have five sales that I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna pack them up and get them ready to ship out tomorrow. Today is Sunday, October 20th, and these are sales from Saturday and Sunday. So five sales in two days. I would say sales slowed down a bit, but I have a really awesome one. Something that sold for over $100 and sold in one day of me listing it. So stay tuned for that one. The first one is gonna be a Victoria's Secret size large teddy romper lace new navy blue sheer sexy nighty now everything except for one sold on ebay so this is the first ebay sale and this also sold quickly it sold through an offer to watchers of 27.60 sold in four days it is very small, so I'm going to put it in the 6x9 poly mailer. It's very light. It weighs 4.6, so I'll round up to 5. I had someone else ask me about the depth, height, or whatever you want to call it, of something when you measure a poly mailer. Um, I always just have one inch, because it almost always it's going to be one inch or less. And uh, sometimes it's two or three, and I will change it. I don't know at what point it matters, but I think it does matter at some point. So I was rounding up to five, right? Yeah. So for example, I have nine by six by one in here. And this is gonna go out USPS ground advantage for $4.47. <clears throat> My fees were $4.90. I had paid only $2.16 at St. Paul, St. Paul, St. Vincent de Paul. That's what it's called, St. Vincent de Paul. And with shipping, they paid $34.10. This was new with tags. It was really adorable. And I had somebody else ask me about using brand images. Some people call them stock photos. They are, you're not supposed to use them because it's not yours. Imagine if you, somebody borrowed your pictures. Um, companies, it's the same way. You know, they put the work into it. That's their content. I have been known to do it at times when I can't illustrate how something is supposed to look. I do it sparingly, but you're really not supposed to. I've seen many very successful resellers just put clothing on a hanger, on a hook on the wall, and only take pictures that way. No mannequins, nothing, and they do great. So then they never use stock images. Uh, the next one is something that has sold before. It's actually a personal item. It's something we picked up at a thrift store for my husband. And then um, he no longer needed it. Where is my razor blade? Oh, I think this is it. Okay. Because he wasn't working in an office, so I listed it. I sold it. They loved it. It didn't fit. <laughs> they sent it back, and now I've sold it again. It is a... Hickey Freeman size 43 regular sport coat, 100% lamb's wool, houndstooth blazer suit jacket. And this is a vintage one. This is an older one. So I was fine letting go it go for $30 plus shipping. Um, I have it folded inside out just to kind of protect the wool from getting, you know, messed up. Lamb's wool is a nice, very soft, fine wool. And I loved this sport coat because it could match anything. He kept it on a hanger in his office or his cube and would wear it, you know, would throw it on when, when needed. Because it really did match anything he was going to be wearing, pretty much. 
pretty much. So it sold for 30 plus shipping. That was a total of 41.80. Cost of goods we're putting a zero. We probably paid eight or nine dollars at the thrift store at the time. Marketplace fees 9.84. And let's figure up shipping expenses. Hickey Freeman has a good following. People who like Hickey Freeman suits like Hickey Freeman suits. And I'm going to see if I can find a little box to put this in. I did tape some up yesterday, but actually I'll just do a poly mailer because I can wrap it up in some tissue paper and then put it in a poly mailer and it'll be just fine. going to be some noisy tape here. It's not really tissue paper, it's packing paper. I think it's recycled because it's got that recycled texture to it. And I found a great deal at Harbor Freight. They were getting rid of all the packing paper and so I bought it everything I could find there. But I think I'm getting close to being out, so I might need to find an alternative. And I never did see any in Costco. People have said that they have their tissue paper back in stock, so I might have to go and look. I was just looking online. That's like a 14 by 13 by one. See, and I mean, you know, it's one inch down here. I would have, I just don't think it's gonna matter if I put one or two inches anyway in the dimensions. <clears throat> I can try it and see. So it weighs two pounds, two ounces. And what did I say? I've got 15 by 13 by four in here and it's 694. If I change that to two inches, it's 676. If I change it to one inch, it's 626. So it does indeed matter. Now it's in a poly mailer, but it still has dimensions, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's got its own dimensions. So 14 by 13. I'm just going to put two inches just to be on the safe side. I don't want to get charged extra. It is a little cheaper to send this UPS, so I'm going to choose the UPS option, 634. I like my UPS store. I can drop off my USPS packages there too because they have someone who comes by. I made $25.62 on that. So yeah, I like going there. It's closer than the post office. This is going to Kansas. The other one was going to Ohio, the romper. So that's the Hickey Freeman. It sold for the second time after seven months from the initial listing. It sold through a counter offer offer situation. I had it listed for 38 and I think they sent me 25 or something and I bumped it up to 30. I am trying to get my listings to be $30 plus shipping or more. And it's lamb's wool, it's Hickey Freeman. I think that's still a steal. And I do hope that it fits them well. I provide measurements in my sport coat, suit, jacket, blazer, whatever you want to call them. I do provide measurements within them. I was actually working on that today. I was, I've listed, I think, nine sport coats slash suits, and I have three more I'd like to get photographed tonight. Okay, this is the really good one. This is a bolo, not because of brand, but because of style. And it is this crazy mixed tapestry. 
um, like mixed prints. I'm going to show pictures, so I don't want to take this all the way out of its folding here. Oh, I kind of already did, didn't I? It is a 3X. The brand is Lee Anderson, but I do not think that matters. I think it's totally dependent on style. I didn't look it up when we bought it in California. I just said, yes, I'm getting that. And Stephen's like, are you sure you don't want to look it up? I'm like, no, no, this is, this is a, a done deal. <laughs> I'm getting this. Excuse me. My nose itches. What do I want to send this out in? I did pay over a hundred dollars, so I think that warrants a box. What do you think? You pay a hundred bucks, you get a box. It's a 12 by 10 by eight. I know I've got some 14 by 12 by something. Let me look at this one. I think I can do this one. This is a Walmart box that I taped up yesterday or the day before. It was Friday. And again, I'm going to put this in some tissue paper, I think, if I can manage to fold it up in such a way that my tissue paper works. I keep some tissue paper. It's packing paper. It's thicker, and I am still using two pieces. I just am. Yeah. All right, tape noise. in there well I'm gonna put I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera all over the place put one two more pieces in there I had a really good weekend I hope you guys did too yesterday we went to a friend's Halloween party we dressed up as lobsters because we're each other's lobster tape had a good time some good friends and what else did we do? It was Saturday. I I had a great Saturday. I worked most of the day. I went garage sailing. I went dropped off my packages. I listed a bunch, sorted a bunch, edited some videos. I just was very pleased with my overall um productivity. Now you might ask, why do I work on the weekend? Do I have to? Yeah, sort of, because during the week I have a lot of other things like doctor's appointments for me, for my dad, um, PT, you know, things like that that take up a lot of my time during the week. And so I like to make up for it on the weekend. And as long as we don't have plans, my husband likes to catch up on the weekend, you know, with reading, TV, football, and relax. Um, unless we are going to do something specific and then, you know, he doesn't mind that I'm working. So I like to work. I like to do what I'm doing here. So it makes a big difference. All right. So they paid full price, $104 and 96 cents plus shipping. This sold in one day for full price. And I do need to put a different address in there. I'm still dealing with the consequences of somebody sending me another address and me forgetting to use that new address. So I am going to grab the new address right now. Technically in eBay, what they want you to do is cancel the order and have them repurchase it with the correct address. I'm taking a risk on this. Um, it did not seem nefarious when she sent me this message or anything. So. I think it's going to be fine. Please send to Okay. So in eBay, when you are buying the shipping label, I'm almost positive you, there is a area where you can change the address. 
This weighs 210, two pounds, 10 ounces. I had estimated two pounds, eight ounces, so I'm a little off. And it's 13 by 11 and a half by six. 13 by 11 and a half by six. So this is going to cost me $9. No. Yes. $9.77 USPS ground, uh, ground advantage. With shipping, they paid $119.06. My cost of goods was $7.43. That's the cost with the tax. And my marketplace fees were $15.88. This is going to Maryland. God dang it. What did I do? What did I do? I did not change the freaking address. So now I've got to cancel that label. I told you I was going to do that. I really should just have canceled it and made her rebuy it. But honestly, I didn't want to miss that sale. That was a great sale. So now I got to cancel that label. And I never know if I really get reimbursed for these labels. So to find your labels, in case you're wondering, you go to your orders tab in your seller hub. And then along the left hand side, there is a shipping labels. Uh, link and that's where you find them and then you can go to actions cancel label and I'm going to say problem with the label I'm just going to say other and they send their request to the carrier yada 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 so now I got to go back and then I got to purchase a new label for this order I'm glad I mentioned where it was going because if I had not, I might not have remembered. I mean, that's how quickly I forgot that I was supposed to get a different label. The trucking. Uh, get shipping label. Okay, edit the address. I can do that. That's awesome. even a different name, but she said it's okay. That's the last name of the person's address where it's going. Still going to Maryland. It's just going to a different address. <clears throat> okay, let me double check that. And hopefully it won't cost me any more money. It doesn't look like it's going to be any different price or anything. So I'm just going to print that new label. Let's find out how much I made. $85.98. I do believe this is the only order that we can consider to be on target for my goals, which is $30 plus shipping or more and sold within 90 days. Okay, all good to go now on that one. So things like that, that style, will it be in style forever? I don't know. And I don't even know why that's a style right now. I, I just love tapestry type things. It was, it was beautiful. So happy to have picked that one up. That probably paid for the majority of what I bought in California. And that was on our vacation. 
All right, the next one is gonna be a Poshmark order. It's a Bovatini 80s, 90s windbreaker jacket, patchwork, color block, nylon, parachute, vintage. It's like that parachute material. And this sold for $22. I think this was a Pasha VA sale. So I pay for Pasha VA, I think it's like $25 a month. And it does all the automation for Poshmark tasks like sharing your closet, following people, sending offers. And I don't know how many orders I'm getting lately. I haven't been paying attention. So I kind of question whether it's paying for itself anymore. Um, but I don't want to start sharing my closet manually. And if that's why I'm getting some of these orders, then, you know, I don't want to mess up things. It sold for 22. I paid a dollar at a garage sale. Marketplace fees, $3.79. Shipping expenses, zero. I made $17.21. Yeah, I don't want to have to start manually sharing my closet. Until that goes away, I will be using something automated like that. Now to send offers, since I'm going to use Posture VA to share my closet, I might as well use it to also send the offers so I don't have to think about it. This is going to California. Vintage windbreakers, if you can get them for like a dollar or two. I think they're worth picking up. Now, this wasn't a super quick sale, but it wasn't also that slow. It was five months. And yeah, I picked it up in a garage sale in May. Okay, next we have a smart wool shirt. The person who bought this sent me a low offer at first, and it hadn't been listed very long, like maybe a couple of days. And so I wanted to give it some time. I, I think it could have possibly even sold full price. Um, but I did counter with $30, and they accepted that. Again, I want to sell things for $30 plus shipping or more. So that's what they paid. They paid $30 plus shipping. I'm going to fit this in this 8 by 11 It's a base layer. It's a men's smart wool men's size medium shirt. Mid-weight 250 base layer merino wool crew neck black. You know, and it looked a little pilled and everything from wear, but that's what happens with base layers and wool. And honestly, it sells anyway because Smart Wool's a great brand and it's pricey. So I had it listed for $32.96. They sent me an offer. I countered with $30. They accepted. It sold in two days. This is also a considered an on-target sale for me because it did sell that fast and for $30 or more. I had paid $4.74. I got this when I was in Colorado. And my marketplace fees were $5.17. With shipping, they paid $37.50. You guys saw me put this on there and then take it off before I even did anything with it. Yeah, that's what they did. 8 by 11 by 1. Going to be five dollars and ninety seven cents. And I made twenty one dollars and sixty two cents. It's going to what's AK? Is that Alaska? Arkansas's AR, right? Yeah. Alaska. AL would be Alabama. Cool. He needs a base layer. Dang it. The uh, label got a little wrinkled. Hopefully that's not a problem. Okay. Don't worry about being perfect, but when the barcode gets a little wrinkled, that makes me worry. 
Okay, the next one is a PacSun size 29 high rise jegging distressed skinny jeans, mid rise ankle length. I would not pick these up again. These took a while. They didn't sell for much. Wasn't worth my effort. Um, I paid a dollar, no, two dollars and eighteen cents, and a customer offered me eight. I had them listed for thirteen, but after two years of not selling, yeah, I needed to take that and go ahead and let it be on its way to its new home because it's lived in mine long enough. So packs on jeans. I'll, I'll not, might look up like the flare leg or something unique about them, but not just a distressed skinny jean. The only other time I've sold PacSun is when my family members have given it to me to sell, and it just doesn't sell for very much, so I'm not sure why I sourced these, but I did. Let's figure out how much money I made, because I still made something. It's 15.5, so I'm going to round up to one pound. With shipping, they paid $19.20, marketplace fees $2.97. This is going to Arkansas. $6.95 to ship. And I made $7.10. So everything except for these jeans, I think were fine to resell. The personal jacket, I don't know, it, it, it was old, it was vintage. It's an older style. It wasn't too out of style or anything, but it was older. Um, with it being lamb's wool, I might've picked it up. But I am really trying to be selective with my pickups for sport coats. I'm going to put a screenshot here so you can see what sport coats I've listed today uh, and get an idea. I used to list my sport coats for a lot more. Now I just want to move them. So we'll see how this goes. I did pick up a bunch of sp bespoke custom-made sport coats. And we'll, we'll see how those do because they're like a 48 long after measuring them. I bet they're gorgeous. They are really gorgeous and I hope they do well. That's everything. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and you'll see uh, my face on your home screen every time I post a video. And I do show you what's sold on a daily basis. Sometimes it takes every other day or so. And on days that I don't have a what's sold, I try to have a thrift haul video for you. So have a great day and just keep listing. JK, <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys how much I made. So let's look that up. Okay, I made $273.66. Total profit, $180.10. Trying to get to $200 profit a day. And so I haven't decided if that includes every day of the week. But I, in my mind, it did. And um, yeah, that's not going to cut it. That's $90 a day. So working there, working my way there, working my way there, picking up higher sell-through rate, higher ASP items. Because I just can't list as many as I would need to on lower items. I, can't, I don't have time to miss, list that many a day, for now at least. All right, now that's it. Bye, y'all.